Get motivated with Mr. Smiles, Vinny Chopra. He is also known as Mr. Enthusiasm. He will share and challenge you each week on great topics, on how to get excited, how to really make things happen in your business, and change your life for the better. Here is Vinny with this week's Motivation Inspiration. Welcome to your weekly Motivation Power Talk with Mr. Smiles, also known as Vinny Chopra. I'm so excited today to have him. As usual, we meet on a weekly basis. We are talking about, today we're talking about um, something that most of us should listen to. And that's (laughs) the fact that you've got two ears in one mouth. Yes. Vinny, how are you this week? I'm doing great. Thank you. Thank you, Alicia. It's a wonderful week. It's going to be a great one. Uh, it's all in the mindset, right? You know, so uh, I think the topic is so appropriate, what you just said. You know, God gave us two eyes to watch, two ears to listen, only one mouth, right? Mm-hmm. We can't talk through the nose. <laughs> 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 but you're so right, you know. This living, we all make a big impact in our life and in the life of others to what we say. Isn't that true? So it's so important that we should really think before we speak. It's so important that, you know, we don't really say, uh, I mean, I would love to say our son, he listens and listens and listens. And it's amazing. He, when he speaks, he speaks so eloquently. I'm sure people have heard that word, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, that person just observes. And when he speaks, he speaks sense. That's how we want to become us, to Mm -hmm. be truthful. Because the more we speak, many times we speak a lot of gibberish. We we speak a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. Uh, We speak a lot of uh, unimportant things. Let's just say that. Because if we are speaking less, the impact is going to be much stronger, much, much stronger in the lives of people, you know, when we are speaking less, I think. What do you think? <laughs> well, I do. I think, well, first of all, so one of the, my major problems, and this, sorry, guys, this is motivation, but one of my, both of us have a long sales background. Yes. And, um, we both have worked with people in the past, and one of the Biggest problems I've always had with people is they don't shut up and listen. Yes. Listen and be present and listen to the person and what their needs are, because they'll tell you exactly how to close them or what they want. And, totally. and that could apply to you know children, husband, wife, doesn't matter. If you shut up and listen, people like by nature, we were just saying talk. So if you listen to what they're saying and you're passionate in your, um, not necessarily passionate, I guess you're more present and, and actually listening and listening and not just hearing, um, I think it makes a huge difference. It really does, Alicia. What you just said, I've, just like you said, we have been in sales. I really believe everybody's in sales, you know, because we have to communicate and mm-hmm. we have to get things done through, a, you know, a win-win situations, I call it. So it's so important that we listen in and take notes. I talk about that too. Take the permission to tell the other party, you know, my memory is not that great. It used to be, but can I take notes? They feel important when you take notes because they feel like everything they're saying, they're going to be even putting in good thoughts when they are telling you because you're writing it down. And they feel like you're helping them by looking at their situation, understanding them better. You know, when we are listening, but we fear just hearing, you just said, right? Hearing is you hear and you it goes away, right? Mm-hmm. But listening with intensity. Two different things. Yeah, two different things. Exactly, you know. And you get to know other people better. I think we did a podcast on that. Mm-hmm. By listening skills, if we can really be taking 20% talking and 80% listening because of four and the 20, right? Four mm-hmm. and one, five. So 20% talking and 80% listening, our life will be much, much better. And of course, when you are impacting somebody's life and you want to get your point across, then you talk, but talk sense. 
you know, have your organized thoughts. That's the other part. You know, if you can really be totally sincere as to the content of speaking, you will make a big impact. Now, how do you deal with somebody if you come across them and they're one of those people who just talk and they're overbearing? I can be that person sometimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but so how do you deal with somebody who's just like, they're like, you know, this is what it is. This is what it is. And how do you, how do you deal with that? With those you know, it's people? tough. It's tough, really, because, you know, I mean, you have to distract them somehow. Or you have to break it up. Oh, by the way, I understand what you're saying. Just say that. Say, I, I'm trying to understand what you're saying, but are you trying to tell me this? Now, you may try to change that thought because many times when people talk, they're gibberish, gibberish, gibberish in the same direction. Yeah. But to have them stop talking, you can say, oh, by the way, something just came to my mind. I'm mm -hmm. sorry to interrupt you. Uh oh well, another way, you're just pardoning yourself, but you're breaking their thought of where they are going if it's not making an impact. But if they are telling their story and they want to kind of deeper and deeper and deeper, and you're writing it down, if you're a psychologist, you know, I mean, psychologists, that's how they do. They listen, mm -hmm. listen, listen, let them talk, talk, talk. But I think in business world, it's different. We have limited time. They have limited time. We have limited time, right? Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that we listen, but then we can also interrupt their behavior. Many times people don't know how much gibberish they are spreading. <laughs> I call it gibberish because if what they are saying is not going to make a better decision, then it's not important, is it? Right? Or better impact or yeah, impact, impact in a exactly. Way. You know, and be respectful for other person's time. I think that's something in my books, very big. You know, be punctual, be, you know, excited. And it's always good to ask prospects, by the way, we have plans for 20 minutes, right? Mm -hmm. Or we have plans for 30 minutes so that they understand that, you know, you are going to be really setting you know, time limit as to what we can accomplish and quickly and so forth like that. So it's so important that we always believe that, you know, we want to be listening to other people, but that the same token, we are giving our feedback to them, which will help them. See, mm -hmm. the thing is, why do people speak a lot? They are trying to be acknowledged and they want to give some solutions from you, get some solutions from mm -hmm. you. So as a leader, as whoever, wherever we are in that position, you always want to give them totally constructive criticism. You got to give them the right thing, because if you don't, you are doing a disservice. Yeah. You know, it's so true. And it's hard. I'm telling you, yeah. it's very hard to give people straight answers so that they can accept us. Many times we tell them the things because we want to look good in their books. And we want to tell them what they want to hear because you don't want an argument or you don't want to hurt their feelings or, or so whatever true. the case is. So I like that how you approach it where you, you're just... You're not coming at it like, dude, just shut up. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You ask, you ask a question and try to bring them out of where their headspace was. Yes. See, and, and, and sometimes it doesn't necessarily go that way because in your head, that's what you're when you're like, really? Yes. <laughs> Are I yeah. listening to this? Exactly. And, you know, you just interrupt and pardon. You say, hey, I'm so sorry. I know you're trying to tell me. I'm trying to picture it. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I, I see your situation, but can you kind of, you know, share with me what, let's just think through what are the real aspects, why you're feeling that way? Yeah. You know, can I jot it down? And then you come up with constructive criticism or the solution, like you said, right, right. I like it. Huh? I like it. So, but by writing more, you can really do well by writing it down. Even when we are uh, talking to ourselves, right? Uh -huh. I mean, when we are talking to ourselves, a lot of things come to our mind, but unless we jot it down, we will not be able to differentiate what's the noise and what's the real deal. Yeah. No, I, I think I completely agree on that. So 
um, with the, you know, the whole two years, you know, two years, I guess, two eyes and one mouth. What do you think about, give me a little blurb on like vision. Cause people also, they do, they, you know, they'll, they'll talk and they'll listen, but sometimes if they just look around them and look at their environment. <laughs> okay. There we go. See, that tells you a lot. If somebody's really involved in the conversation of listening or not paying attention. See, I think it's good to talk with your eyes. Mm -hmm. You know, of course we talk with the mouth, but you should, we need to be addressing. Uh, I, I'm guilty of that, you know, but you got to be looking in people's eyes so that you could see what they are trying to tell you. We understand better if we are not floundered and, you know, I mean, when people are not really concentrating, that's mm -hmm. when their attention goes away, right? Yeah. But if we are talking through the mouth and talking right in there and to really make them feel important and talking to their eyes, then good eye contact is very, very, and not to be distracted. That's the other part, you know, mm -hmm. I try to I try my best, but many times it doesn't happen. As you're being distracted right now. I know. See, like this, you have to just put it like that, down below, so that you are not, notifications come and all that on the phone. Yeah. But if it's upside down, Can't then you it. don't know what's happening, of course. And, of course, the you know, the sound, silent, keeping it there. Uh, it's better to really be respectful for the time, and the presence that we have in one's company, right? We all want to be get better. I want to get better. But the big thing is the better decisions we make, that we want to apply those principles, we'll be better off, you know? And so kind of going back to what we just started with, you know, should we be listening more or talking more? The answer is listening more, right? Yes. Uh, with prospects, with family, with our roles, with children, everybody. If we can listen more, we're going to be understanding other people better. And then we'll be helping them to think through solutions. And for us also, you know, we'll yeah. feel well worth. If somebody says, oh, dad, you give the right answer. Or, you know, husband says, I mean, wife says, you know, that was right or this and that. So that's what you want the recognition for. So we should be looking at why should we talk less and what are the benefits of it? Yes. Benefits yeah. are immense, immense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, using your eyes, unless yes. of your mouth. Using your eyes. Inflection of voice. That's the other part, too, by yes. the way. Yes. Inflection is so important. If people are not concentrating, shh, you know, I mean, do some gestures or try to, hey, can I get you back? I know you're not attending. You're not listening to me. Can I get you back in the conversation? So I think by doing few things, we could bring them back, their attention back, you know. But also remember that we are creatures of so much is bombarded. So many things are going on in our mind. So it's good to unravel and say, hey, Alicia, can I get 20 minutes or 15 minutes of your time? Concentrated time. So mm -hmm. by saying that, by setting the stage, also you will bring them into the presence, present right there right there. And the more present we are in our conversations, both mm -hmm. the parties or three or four parties right there so that they are not thinking about the grocery list or picking up the dinner or the laundry and the kids and all the better we'll be in conversing, in talking yeah. with eyes and mouth and listening. <laughs> Well, I love it. And um, Mr. Smiles, you know, I like to end each podcast with a nugget of advice for, and this one is for somebody who doesn't know how to shut up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> and That's a big listen. one. You know, if somebody's just going again, ba, 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 you say, oh my gosh, you know, to be truthful, I sometimes pick up the phone without anybody coming. <laughs> You're like, oh I my gosh. Me. I'm so call. sorry. My attorney's just calling. I got to talk. <laughs> now I know when you do that, what you're doing to me. <laughs> See, the thing is, you got to find ways to break that 
whole thing. Otherwise, we'll be just spending time for nothing, right? You know? Mm-hmm. So I do also sometimes say, oh, by the way, I, I just want to let you know, I've got a meeting coming up in 10 minutes, even if it's like on the 15-minute segment, right? You know? Or oh, I just missed my meeting. I got a text and make sure that, you know. So this way you can interrupt the behavior of others before Without making them mad, I guess, is one word. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, when you want to do that, they will understand that, you know, and then maybe next time when they talk to you, or it's always better to really set the time limits too. That's another way. You say, hi, you know, so-and-so came. I have only 15 minutes. I allotted 15 minutes. So let's just look into the main reasons why we are talking. And if I can help you. So tell me things in 10 minutes. If you can give me bullet points, what's going on in your life. And in the next five minutes, we can kind of find some good solutions. So I I think by understanding, by making people be respectful to your time and theirs, by being present, by listening more, talking less, by concentrating through, you know, their situation. I think we can accomplish a lot. Well, I agree. And I love your advice as usual. Thank you, Mr. Smiles. All right, guys, you just got your weekly motivation power talk on, uh, you know, two ears, but two ears, two eyes and one mouth. So right. <laughs> feel free to like, comment, subscribe, turn on those bells, guys, get, get in here, share this. If you like the information that you hear and you're getting from us, please share it uh, with your friends, your social media, and any input or any questions you guys or anything you guys want us to talk about, please go ahead, leave it in the show notes. All of Mr. Chopra's information will be in the show notes below. And Mr. Chopra, I will see you next week. Thank you so much. Thank you, Alicia. Thank you, everybody, guys. See you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. You will be amazed at the insights Vinny will share each week. He will share his experiences. He has taken $7 to over $220 million portfolio in commercial real estate. To reach Mr. Smiles, text the word syndication to 474747 or go to his website, vinnychopra.com.